What um, to dive, we're back at it again today. Man, I know it's early, I know it's early, but I went out early dumpster diving, and you know what? It was freaking worth it, all right? I went really, really, I would hit the road like six today, and I saw other people who were dumpster diving last week, so I was like, yo, I gotta get there, I gotta beat them right now. I don't want them getting the stash, and I'm happy I went out early, and I got the stash, because if I didn't, there would have been a lot of people out right now. But let's go over it right now, so... We actually have five of these miniature garbage cans. Now, why are they important? So we're actually gonna go over, for example, some of this here, which basically is gonna end up being gold scrap. And I can actually put a lot of these inside of there and have a bubbler with a black wire, which actually puts airflow such as this. This is actually allows air to go to the bottom of it in miniature holes which is good, so I'm actually going to keep that and put it in here. But now I have one, two, three, four, five. Now, again, these are the tough, thick ones. They don't have any holes in it or anything like that. I do love the fact that I have them. Absolutely love this stuff here. It is amazing. This here we're going to go into right now, but the small stuff is perfect for this because, if anything, I can get a nice plastic cover over it, poke two holes in it, get the wire in there, move it up, I'm good to go. Now, what would you normally pay for something like this? Uh, you're not going to find that at a dollar store because it's in a garbage can, but you may find it at Staples. One of these may be, I'd say 10 bucks maybe at Staples. I could probably check. Now, that's the regular recycle one, but they actually put those in the dumpster. I was like, hey, listen, I'll take them. I have no problem with that. These things are tough, sturdy. They're very thick plastic, so the acid won't actually end up eating through them. You can usually get, I believe, glass which is also good to actually end up melting gold scrap. All right, so we're gonna continue. I got two plastic display bins. So these are a bit different. This is what I can actually put on display or put books in this. We got a keyboard set there. We got a monitor. I have not plugged it in to see if it works yet. You guys know what we do if it doesn't work. I'll take the peripheral out of it. We're gonna have some gold scrap. We're gonna go into that last. We have some VXP wire. This is a special wire. I'm gonna take this over to the yard there. I do love this right now. I had to go ahead and as you can see, I took the regular cord that came with it that it was scrapped with and I just wrapped it and wrapped it. It's gonna be easier to put all of it on a scale one time. However, I am gonna put some of this other wire there, but because they are actually weighed with the same weight, but they're different price that you pay for is gonna be different. You can obviously see how dirty my hands are right now. Okay, now this red wire, itself and you see there there's a single copper wire with this this is actually hollow so we're actually going to put this here and use that right now but we have a lot of this vx wire it's very heavy i'll probably who knows get how much for that now we do have some of this yellow you know where i went if i have this i was so upset today bro i had about two hundred dollars of this today two to three hundred dollars of this today and you know what happened i found out it was all coax and you don't get anything from it. Now, if I go back next week and I do see it there, I probably will pick it up. It's all going to be coax, but it's good. Look at that. It's freaking coax, right? However, these plugs here will go for surveillance cameras, security cameras, and video cameras. This is what you can actually hook up to the outside of the house right now, okay, which is very, very good. There was about, like, maybe a 1,000 feet of it I saw in reels. The, the business just threw out because they didn't need it. So... All that's going to go to the junkyard. Now, this here is a red and gray wire, but when you look into it, each red and gray wire has a black and red wire with it, which is separate power, which is pretty good. So I actually am going to keep that. I'm not going to sell that at all. I'm going to take that to the yard. This I'll take to the yard as well. Even though this is actually a uh, Cat 5, Cat 6, it's a bit bent up, as you can see, and I really wouldn't trust wire to be running electric on that. So all of this is going to end up actually going to the junkyard as well okay now what do we have someone threw these two out now what are these these will basically be like the old old bad and they actually wrote bad on it so these don't work i'm going to crack these open to see if there is some silver in it i have a feeling there definitely is but again you never never know okay i'm going to crack both of these suckers open do love them all right got some plastic cases here now i opened this one because someone actually threw this out and I was like, what was this used for? And I was like, that's not heat treat tubing. That's covering for something. I don't know what it was, but this does look like a pressure piece. 
who knows. All right, next we have a, what is this? Let's look at this here right now. This is a port cable. This looks like it is a nail gun, a pneumatic. No, yep, yeah, one of those pneumatic nail guns there. You can press this part here, which does work very, very good. You got the, look at, oh, still works, still works, the push piece here, okay. Now this looks like it's got a bit of sawdust in it. You actually have the rails still attached, by the way. Still attached right now, which is pretty good. None of that is actually on right now. This is, again, this is very nice. This is a handheld one. This will take a lot of, a lot of time up there. Now, I'm looking at the size of this as well. This is huge right now. Oh, they left a bit in. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, look at this. This is a nice, thin website. I am going to keep that. Thank you very much. Put this right back. And look at the side. This is probably about maybe three inches. And they left that there. I guess this is oil as well, which is very good to have. And you have the Allen key. So this may be a full set. Now, here's the question. What would something like this go for just found? To be honest, as is, I can't test to see if it works. I would say 50 bucks. But to be honest, if this works, who knows? I can't even test it right now. I don't even know how it would I'd have to get a, a portable air, air, you know what? I might be able to actually hook this up to an air pump to see if it works, okay? We also got this. So let me keep that as well. I might put that on Facebook to check it out. But yeah, I'm very happy about that. A lot of this, okay? All of this is today right now. What's this all worth right now? I'm looking at probably over two, 300 bucks. We'll check out this here. Now, what do we have here? I got some stuff online. I'm gonna go over it with you guys in another in another video there. But what we have are these look, looks like game pieces. They used to belong to a certain game, but different games. And then we got chips. You have gold fingers on the bottom. And some of them actually have capacitors there. So this scrap has capacitors, which may have silver. You have the chips, which have gold in them, and the fingers on the end, which have gold in them as well which is very, very good right now. Some of these are double chipped. I do like them. And then we have one pound of this gold scrap. We're gonna go into that. We'll go into that later on. Amazing, amazing stuff. And then we got bonus free stuff that they threw in there because we bought some, all right? But again, I always wanna give you guys good entertainment, okay? What do we got today? We have what appears to be, I think you call this a pneumatic nail gun. Got some capacitors, uh, no. Circuit breaker, so those are gonna be silver, which is good. We're gonna have that go to the scrapyard there as well. I got all my hard drives tested, which is good. So a lot of them are actually going to scrap right now. And we'll take that to the yard. We got some bins. I am gonna keep these because now the good part is when I actually get a home, I can put these in different parts of the house. I can have one upstairs. I can put one in the bathroom, one in the kitchen different things like that. We'll see if it does, I'll take the peripherals out. If it works, hey, listen, I'll add one to the collection. I have 29 and 28 so far. That'll be number 29. And we got the power up. Yeah, today is a very, very, very good day right now. Let's say I'll put each of those for 10 bucks a piece right now. Monitor at 10, total for 60 there. This will probably go for 100, 160. We'll go ahead and actually end up getting a half ounce of silver out of that. This will go ahead for maybe 70 bucks, along with the hard drives, maybe 300. And then this, a lot more. It is a beautiful day, man. I'm looking today right now. I'm liking what's going on. All right, guys. Hey, listen, have a great day. Enjoy the entertainment. Pro to dive around.